everyone welcome to the channel alvp home deco today we are talking about the 3d wallpaper designs or wallpaper designs looking to add the luxurious touch to your home interior wallpapers are the great way to brighten up a room whether it's setting up a new place or sprucing up an existing one or even redoing the home interior just to add the new touch wallpapers add a sense of fun style and flair to any home hanging wallpapers is an easy process you can do it yourself or take the professional expert help here is a list of eight important things you must keep in mind before choosing the wallpaper number 1 how can i a wallpaper small room small rooms have design constraints and challenges one should choose the wallpapers with a complete care and caution we should always avoid dark colored wallpapers with a small prints this color scheme make your space much gloomy and claustrophobic while the large sparse pattern create a illusion of large space number 2 do i go with the paper or other material paper or paper with the vinyl film is often the material used as a wallpaper for the home it is easy to put up clean and even removable this paper also hides wall imperfections care must be taken while putting them up though as they can tear easily embossed wallpaper is another great option where texturing allows for hiding scratches and imperfections on the wall fabric wallpaper bamboo and other kinds of materials have their limitations in sticking on the wall as well as maintenance number 3 where can i try small wallpaper prints Small prints works with a fewer distractions and work in rooms where you want more calmness. The best best example being children room or master bedroom. Small prints can get lost in living rooms and fade over time. Number 4. Can I make a small room larger with this wallpapers? Wallpapers are perfect for creating optical illusion in a space. You can make a small rooms appear large and wider just by putting up wallpaper with horizontal stripes. Vertical patterns can make a room appear taller and larger. However, both the above patterns work in rooms they are perfectly square. For rooms that are rectangular, a drop or a diagonal pattern works better. Number 5 What is pattern repeat While putting up a wallpaper it is important to pay attention to whether the pattern is lining up properly There must be equal distance between a parallel parallel patterns and this can be anywhere between an inch to even the entire wallpaper width For horizontal paint patterns it is important to ensure that the design matches both sides of the strip and geometrical ones need even more care floral patterns do not need much pattern repeat number 6 what happen in a room with a low ceilings there are special wallpapers with a color gray gradient from dark to light tone which makes the wallpaper appear taller vertical stripes have a similar effect paint the ceiling in white or light color with a sharp contrast gives the illusion of height number 7 laying out patterns in a hazardous manner is one of the common mistakes when putting up wallpapers it is important to double check how it is going up before the gum is applied since once done it becomes difficult to remove Number 8 What choice of wall wallpaper comes down to At last choose the wallpaper based on the purpose of the room How clean can you maintain it 
how long will it last based on the room usage for example kitchens hallways children rooms need water resistant wallpaper and something that can be cleaned frequently bathrooms can do with the moisture resistant wallpaper but some amount of water destruction is inevitable